we do good enough when we have excellence. Let's see. Got the Sanctum, right? The Weaver's Guild should take me there. It's been a while since I started this quest line, so I don't remember. exactly where it is. I think it's here. Not it yet. You're going to be the Black Mage teacher, I remember you. I'm Lai, a Thaumaturge of the Order. It's my charge to give guidance to those who visit our Millennium Sacarium in search of it. Sadly, as you can see, we have no to close our doors while repairs are underway. As such, we've had no visitors of late. I find myself with a wealth of spare time. As a servant of Nald Thal, it saddens me that I've had to put aside my sacred dirties for the nonce. I am, however, glad to be afforded the freedom to pursue my interests in the arcane. Seriously, everyone in these quests is a Lalafell except for me. <laughs> I stand out so much. Let's see. Oh, we have, there's a main scenario quest requirement, too, which we are not at yet, so hooray! I am as advanced as I can be for now. Huzzah. Is there anything else that I need to do? What should I do? Should make sure everything's are all my arms are mended. Yes, I know I can repair my own gear with my crafting glass. Hum, hum, hum. Try to think if there's anything else I need to do. There is. I think. Unless I go unlock haircuts and make sure I have all my cities. Let's do that. Because I do not have all my cities. Um, so then, so then, so. To spend a ticket on that cheap of a teleportation. <clears throat> okay. What am I missing here? I'm missing the Arcanist Guild and everything upstairs. Let's go get those. And upstairs is where the uh, quest for the haircuts starts. Yay, it's Felimsa. I'll check the status of my sales while I'm here. Mm, but Sasha hasn't sold anything. Slacker. Actually, I think it's Sasha might be selling a wall of books. Let me let me 
check that, I think. Was it this that I had my wall of books on? What exactly are you selling? Yeah, you're selling a wall of books. And so is Hyper Evil. <laughs> okay. I just, I flooded the market with thousand gil books and <laughs> sold like three of them. <laughs> uh, it's not, I'm not going to recoup my investment. It's fine. I don't have anything else to sell so they can just sit there for a while. And eventually when I have more important things to sell I can just, you know, pull them off and just throw them into the ocean. Welcome back. Oh, you have your adventurer plate made. Aura has not done that. And they're a dupta. <laughs> Funny. I made my adventure a place. Oh, that's it at the portrait. Perfect. There you are, just coming to tease me. <laughs> I mean, there's no sense in partying up, we're not going to be doing anything, but yeah. Nice to see that you are also... It's nice to see that I'm a significantly negative impact on everyone's lives, and I'm just getting everyone to play an MMO. Well, that's good. As long as you're getting enough sleep and doing your thing with your students. Nonsense! Oh no, my life's ambition of being a horrible negative influence. First, I have to have bastards and have everyone tell me that I'm an amazing parent because my kids are like. One of my sons is en route to be valedictorian, these teachers told me. Like, it's like six years away, but apparently if he keeps up this stuff, he's like one of the best students at their school. And it's like, really? That is such a step up for me getting high and throwing fists. I'm so proud. Yay! We've secured Limsa. Now I won't embarrass myself anymore. Uh, we'll see if they pan out. Right? Like, there's plenty of time between now and graduation. For things to get better or worse. Here's to them getting better. Over here. Did I already unlock the haircuts?
Nope, it's over here. There you go. Working in a tavern. Oh, this isn't the what this isn't the place I wanted. It's not that you're crafting, it's that you're crafting in the tavern. Don't work in the tavern. Drink in the tavern. OMG. Ma'am, is this ruffian bothering you? What are you waiting for? That's him, the slasher. Apprehend him, toss him in the jail, and throw him throw away the key. Or gut him and feed his lifeless body to the sharks for all I care. Just do something. Whoa, woe is me. Whatever did I do to deserve this cruel fate? For six moons, I saved every last gill of my husband's hard-earned wages. Forgoing new shoes, a new purse, sometimes even food for our children. All in anticipation of this day. What's so special about today, you ask? Why, this day marks the arrival of the world-renowned aesthetician in Limsa. My endless patience and self-control were to be rewarded with a hair-raising transformation that would have every fashion conscious laments and ooing and eyeing in admiration. Instead, I find myself accosted by this lecherous lout. Speaking of which, weren't you going to do something about him? Go ahead, have your way with him. I doubt he has anything to say for himself. Well? <laughs> no matter what I say, all I receive are accusations and looks of horror. I swear this is not what it seems. Do you doubt me too, friend? I suppose I'm supposed to doubt him. Rah! Oh, the ignominy of it all. Of course you take her side. For shame, is there not one sympathetic ear in this entire nation? An artiste of my renown should be welcomed with open arms and a 21 cannon salute. Instead, I'm branded a criminal, the tools of my trade, nay, the extensions of my very soul, ripped unceremoniously from my person like barnacles from the side of a frigate. I'll not last long in my weakened state. No, even as we speak, the world around me grows dim. With my dying breaths, I see, speak unto you three names, three kind souls who may yet put right what has gone so frightfully wrong. Forge Master Hananza of Naldek and Vinmels, Guild Master Beaton of the Gridanian Counterers Guild, and Severian of the Alchemist's Guild in Ulda. If there's an ons of compassion in you, seek them out, and tell them Jeanne Delane sent you. When my soul is restored and my name rightfully cleared, all of Limsa, nay, the entire realm, will sing your praises. For I, Jeanne Delane, am none other than the ass. <laughs> the ass. <laughs> Okay. Sure, bro. Jandelaine is so... so much. Hey there, Nanza. I've got a crazy person telling me that I should talk to you. Hmm? Gendelaine sent you? Let me guess, the barmy fool's lost his tools. Oh, pardon me, the appendages of his very soul again, and is thrashing and tossing like the end of days is nigh. The man brings it on himself, if he toned down the theatrics and went about his work like an earnest craftsman, I dare say he'd save himself all these misunderstandings. No, I've not a whit of sympathy for the fool. You, however, have my pity, indeed, for having to play audience who is whinging. Any road, this should shut him up for a while. 
Tell him if he loses these, I'll graft the next pair to his bloody hands. Okay. Uh, Hanan's, uh... Hanan's a vouchers for him. I guess we're gonna go fly to Gridania and finish fetching all the Gridania Aetherite and talk to the Carpenter's Guild and then go... We'll just, we'll do our world tour. Airship landing is cheaper. So that's airship landing. Hi there. I need to go to Gridania. Oh, it's much cheaper to fly. Boom. Oh, hey! One of my leather grimoires just sold. See, I told you I could just leave them up there and they'd make me passive income. Actually, I think 950 gil, I think, with selling four of them at this point, I've recouped all of the expenses of um, making them. So if I throw the rest of them into the ocean, I'll be... No, I haven't. Because I had a mil I had just over a million when I started. So I haven't yet. I'm getting close. I bought other things too, so I think I've made broken even on the books. So what do I still have to get here? Archer's Guild here, everything on the other side. Cool. Let's go to the Carpenter's Guild first, because it's right here. Hey, Beaten! A message from Jandalin, you say? So he's lost another one? Does a man not understand that wood doesn't simply grow on... Uh, okay, actually it does, at least in a manner of speaking. But the fact remains that resources are in short supply. For all his flowery words, if his tools were truly an expensive as extension of his very being, one would think he'd find a way to hold on to them for more than a fortnight or two. Jandalin's skills are not to be doubted, but his temperament leaves much to be desired. Still, it's not my place to judge. Take this to him and let us both hope he will write his ways. Cool. So everyone's got no patience for his bullshit. Well, to the archery guild. Where people can tell me that Bard is a dot class and that I shouldn't be upset about summoner changing. It's not dot enough. Ooh. Oh, you're just wearing the uh, New Year's clothes. Ooh, I'm getting pinged. Who's pinging me? Is there anything I have to worry about? Okay. Yeah, it's nothing that I need to worry about. Yet. Like, I need to worry about it, because my life is full of things I have to worry about. But I don't have to worry about it until uh, later. very tempted just to swing by the place I picked as my character's hometown in our pre-game background discussion stuff. Just be like, hey, it's home, but I'm going to avoid it. 
I'm going to purposefully avoid it unless the game sends us there. Because I stole a bunch of money and hitchhiked out of town, so I don't want them to know I'm here, right? That's that's my justification. That's my reasoning. I'm sticking to it. Just need the botanist skilled. I'm not actively, like, working, so I should have my mask off, so I don't get my face all more tired. Plus, we spend a lot of time working on that face. Okay. To Ulda. Hi, Nana, homie. The Husting Strip, please. There's a player unlocking the ballroom dance. And we'll just port our way to the Alchemist's Guild. Hey, kitty! You missed the exciting conclusion to the Thaumaturge questline. You've come on behalf of Jandalane? Why, I've just furnished him a fresh batch of my special creations last week! I realize the man's services are in demand, but it would be physically impossible for him to exhaust the entire supply so soon. Stolen, you say? An unfortunate turn of events. <laughs> Indeed, if not entirely unexpected. See, the man is something of a genius, and genius is often misunderstood by modest minds. Trust me, I speak from extensive personal experience. Yes, great minds must band together in trying times, lest the realm be deprived of our talents. And so I command you, deliver this parcel to Jandalane with all speed. Yes, boss. Uh, how are you doing, kitty? You've got a filly of May Nations. Huzzah. You have channel points now. Oh, this is the first time I've flown out of Ulda. Yay, bunny emotes. Let's go give things to Jandeline and then, I don't know, maybe we'll look into another haircut.
we'll see. Also, I'll see if that uh, New Year's quest is still coming, because I don't think I've done that on the cover. How's Barb? Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does she have a... Mohawk? Hey, lost child, I like your hair. Just, uh, it's not been a great, uh, two weeks. Oh, <laughs> uh, this, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard your bullshit. Everyone is sick of your shit except for my boss, Severin, and Severin's an asshole, so, uh, yeah. Yes, I feel it. The light returns to my eyes. Power course through my fingers. I, I live. And as I live, this unspeakable embodiment of ugliest must die. Be gone, foul demon. Hi. Whoop, well, she's dead. And so I ask, how do you feel, Madame? Why? It is a in but a single magnificent moment, I traveled beyond Floyd and returned to life as the embodiment of all that's beautiful in this world. Could it be? Yes, it must. How else to explain such power? You're the one whose coming was foretold. Yes, you are the aesthetician. Yes, maiden, reborn maiden, feed your goddamn children. In the flesh, madame. I am Jeanne Delane, crafter of coiffures so divine that Menfina herself doth begrudge my clientele their beauty. But let us speak of you, madame, for where a moment ago sort of fashioned a challenge from, now there stands a beauty reborn. Yay. And you are the one who I must thank for evol reviving my soul, that I might once again bestow my gifts on a realm bereft of beauty, a kindness I intend to repay in full. Do you fear your own hairstyle is becoming passé? Fear the specter of <gasps> ugliness threatening to consume you? Fear not, friend, for it shall not survive my wrath. Where is Kerr when I need him? Where is Kerr when I need him to voice this guy? You have to understand, this is pretty much how Kerr looks and behaves IRL. As the madam before you, at this very realm we call home, from an abyss of unfathomable drabness, you shall rise anew. My clients have been known to make reservations moves, even years in advance, but you shall know no such trouble. No, for proving the staunch ally to good taste, when all others turned a blind eye, I gladly place myself at your beck and call. Yes, the next time you find yourself plagued by aesthetic ennui, you need only ring the crystal bell in the comfort of any in-room at which you have taken up lodgings. Jean Delane shall hasten to the scene, as, in a flash, the dreary, uninspired life you've hitherto known shall end. You shall travel the realm beyond and return as... Yep. I give you this token as a token of trust, treasure, for this key to the world of aesthetic wonders ordinary women shall never know. Well, I am truly no ordinary woman. Oh, Master Chandelier, do come back. I've not made my next appointment. You should stop worrying about your appointment and feed your children. You just mentioned how you did not feed your children to avoid the to afford this fee. 
Let's go do that. Let's go. Let's go back this way because it's over here. Let's go do our hair. Play fat, play dress up. Do aesthetics. And then we'll go play adventure for a while. Because I need to get adventure beaten. Where are you? There you are. <sighs> yep. Showing my equipped attire so I can check against what I'm wearing. So let's see. You just get it cropped. I don't see the mohawk, so I don't think we have access to that. That new hair style. Yeah, it's a swept back butch, emo, or kind of Miwa style. That's what I'm thinking. I think the Miwa style. And what highlight do I want? Fire has begun to tinge us. We're finding ourselves torn apart by our etheric balances. So we have our astral fire and umbral ice. I like it. I don't know if I like it with that hairstyle, though. chat think. Is this acceptable hair? Should we go back to the dark root?
Yeah, I think the dark roots are nicer. We'll go back here. The little red highlights. Oh god, we had his hair colored, so we just went back to the dark roots. It was a good idea. There we go. We can put on our mask. Here. I'm gonna build a new glamour. Let's see. So we have our brand new robe. Right, just something that's. I'm wearing it, that's why. Never mind. Let's see. We have all of those. We have these. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a better base. You know, the mask is still the best. Half gloves are still the best. And we can go skirt. I don't mind the skirt, except for the fact it's gonna like flash everyone every 10 seconds. Skirt with thigh boots. Strife boots. Yeah, let's do it. Mm, I do not like the shield, though. There we go. Let's go see if we can find a better shield than this in the marketplace. For when we have... No... For when we have to be one person. Oh, there we go. There's that flashing everyone every 10 seconds thing. I like the skirt, but it could stand to be like an inch longer. Buy some nicer things. I could just get this. That solves that problem. There we go. Problem solved. Lovely. I should. I still want to find a new shield because we're gonna get one-armed weapons in the future, and I want a better shield than that one hanging around in case we need to equip. Them.
You don't have a shield. Is there not a better Thaumaturge shield? That, um, there's something called the Shield of the Savage. I see, so they're under Disciple of War. Apparently. BLM, we can use these shields. Okay, so the decorated buckler. But I'm not a BLM yet, so I can't equip it. <laughs> okay, uh, show me your level 20 shields. There we go, I can wear wield the level 28 goat skin one. Um says THM, I can equip it. Don't tell me I can't equip it. It says that I can equip it. Put the silver scepter there. See? Game lying to me. I can equip it, just like that. There we go. Back we go to Camp Drive -O. Flashing the universe. Because those skirts are just too short. That is too short a skirt. These give me shorts underneath it if you're gonna have that short. Oh my god. Oh, to the inn. This isn't the inn. That's the inn. At least we're sitting modestly. Good job. Okay. And now it's time to do all of the appropriate changeover. We're going to be going on to Final Fantasy Adventure. 